Hey guys, I'm clear over here. Have you ever been in a situation where you had a lights or something of that nature plugged in all the way over there? Your only option was to walk all the way over there to plug and unplug the lights every time you wanted them turned on. Or I could go to each of these and pull the chains as I'm coming down. Very inconvenient, especially in an attic situation, garage lighting, different things like that. Well, today I've got a solution for you and we'll show it all to you next here on Dad's Garage. But before we get started, do not forget to hit that thumbs up and please give me a subscription. We really appreciate that. Let's get started on our simple solution. All right, guys, I'm here in the attic. This one's going to be super quick and simple today. But <clears throat> what I've just done is I've just put more lighting in my attic over on that side where I just was coming up the stairs. The only outlet in this entire attic is all the way about halfway across the house over by where the uh, HVAC system is. So, like I just said a moment ago, my only choice to turn on and off those lights is either to grab the plug where it connects to the extension cord all the way over there or go around to each one, un turn them on and off individually, or walk all the way back over here to where it's plugged into the wall. Well, I have a very simple solution that I've found for you, and it's very inexpensive. So what I got is in this little box right here. And basically what this is, is the little remote switch. So it comes with two pieces. You have the little wall outlet and you have a little switch. I got, actually, there's technically a third piece. There's a magnetic base for it to go to. So putting these in is super simple. So all you do is plug the thing into the outlet Put your plug in in its place, and then you've got your on-off switch. So all you really do here to get this thing connected is you push this button in, <clears throat> and it connects to your switch. Show you over there, so now it's connected. You can hear it clicking. I'm gonna kill this light so you'll be able to look at the other side over there. I added three um, four foot shop lights over there to give me a lot better lighting over there. So that's all you do. You now have an on off switch. So now that we've got that done, we're gonna go back over to the other side and we'll show you the installation of the switch. All right, so now we're back over here on the other side near the stairway coming up into the attic. And they already supply you with the double stick tape. So this is really as simple as figuring out where do you want this, this button located. So I'm gonna tear off this double stick tape. And I think we're going to put it right here. That's a pretty safe place where nobody will be stepping, so they're going to hit it with their foot and knock it off, things like that. So we're going to put it right there. Let me kill this other light so you can get full effect. So there we go. Lights on and off. So there we go, project complete, less than five minutes. These things are available on Amazon, uh, and I've got three of these throughout the house. I've got one in the garage because we had no switched lighting in the garage other than the one little light that's on the garage door opener. So when I added all these shop lights in here, I had no switched light. 
Last thing I want to do is go to the other side of the room to unplug my shop lights and plug them in every time that I want to use them. We have it mounted on the wall right next to where all the other light switches are in the garage and uh, near the remote for the garage door opener. And it's right there so we can turn on and off those lights as we come in and out of the door. Well, now we're going to be able to do the same thing here in the attic with our lighting in the attic. And these things are really cool. You can, they just, they're magnetic, so they just stick here. Um, they're really super nice. They take a, I believe, a CR2032 battery in them. Um, we moved into this house mid-October, and it's mid-March, so I guess we're on, uh, we've been here about five and a half months now. And uh, we have not had to replace any batteries in these yet. We have another one for my wife's makeup station that I built in, in our closet because there was no um, switch in there either. Uh, just the overhead light, and that was the only switch we had. So, so again, so she didn't have to, you know, plug, plug in, unplug over and over every time she wanted to use her makeup station. I just put one of these little buttons on the actual makeup station and uh, she can switch it on and off. So it's, it's, they're, they're a wonderful little thing. They're like 18 bucks on Amazon. Um, this is a Laura Tap is the brand. L-O-R-A-T-A-P remote control. You can find those on Amazon. And uh, like I say, I got three of them. I absolutely love them. And they are the best $18 spent. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful to you. And we'll catch you next time on Dad's Garage.